Today, we're probably going to get the easiest plague diamond in the history of COD zombies, and that is the knife here on COD Vanguard. Now, you've probably already heard about this already, but here in Vanguard, you only have to get the knife done to get Plague Diamond. And that's because the only other melee weapon in this game is the Riot Shield, and they don't let you use that in zombies. Probably because it would be absolutely broken, but today, we're going to be getting our easiest Plague Diamond of our life. So, our challenge is here for the knife. We need to get a thousand eliminations, which I already have. For whatever reason, it says I don't have any progress on it, but as you can see, I'm 10 out of 10 on it. For Surgical, we need to get 10 Rapid Kills 50 times. I already have it 22 times. We're going to need get an additional 28 today that's probably gonna be our toughest challenge ahead of us for predatory ambition very wordy name for camos we need to get a hundred or a thousand pack a punch kills and we already have that for reptilian we need to get 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit 20 times we just need that one more time so that should be pretty easy and then dead eye we need to get 20 Sturm krieger eliminations just uh the machine gun guys the machine gun zombies those are also kind of easy to get i wouldn't say very easy because they do hit hard when you get up close they're made melee is insane but if you hit them in the backpack they are such easy kills and also really quick before we hop in game i just want to say i am going for atomic as well for those of you that just watch the zombies content i will be playing multiplayer in this game along with the zombies even though the zombies mode is kind of you know lackluster there's still camos to get so we're gonna try to get them all and also we are still gonna be doing our road to dark aether series over on cold war on my second account uh, i'm gonna try to do at least one of those videos a week now that uh vanguard's out that's gonna be my main focus but i didn't forget about you cold war guys and i will be going back there very soon well anyways let's hop a game but just in case you didn't see it as we're going through the class i am using frost blast i feel like this is the only field of gray that really works so far in this game but yeah hopping in a solo whoa what's up with the arms what are you doing he was hitting the gundam style all right here we are on on dare and fang i the name of this map is so just not rememberable like i said last video you know i feel like this game has a lot of potential for zombies like all the designs and everything look really cool just the things i don't like is you know lack of round based map like obviously but i don't like how much rng based this is good thing we don't need any of these covenants because we won't be able to grab them anyways but since we need to get those storm krieger kills or whatever they're called the machine gun guys we need to get to a higher wave faster and i think they start spawning at around like six I think could be wrong on that, but let's just go ahead and hop into a blitz first. But like all the designs in this are so cool. Like this guy looks insane. All the zombies look really nice. I do like the the big storm krieger or whatever they're called the machine gun guys look cool the tempest type guys look cool or not tempest tormentor guys they just need more time to work on this i'm sure by the end of this game it'll be nice but it's just disappointing here at the start there's not too much to do like this mode is literally only in here to grind camos at the moment because this isn't worth a shit for for levels either zombies levels was notoriously bad in cold war after you know there's those exploits they literally just nerfed it in the ground made it unusable for leveling stuff up and they kind of carried that over it's a it's a vanguard but you know, speaking of weapon levels the reason why i'm doing the knife not only is it stupid easy to get plague diamond but i i don't have to level it up at all like for any weapons that don't have attachments to this game this is a really nice feature of vanguard this is what i i really like about this game is that weapons that don't have attachments you don't need any weapon levels on them you can just hop right in get every camo done just like anything that would be unlocked through leveling is there already which i never thought about before in other cods like in previous cods like why would i even have to level up a launcher or anything like that that has no attachments to help me like what am i leveling it for just besides wasting my time so that's definitely a welcome feature in this game oh that's jackrabbit so we're done with that camo it's not only need to do it one more time where's my camo for it also it doesn't even look like i have a knife right now it just looks like i'm I'm like clubbing these zombies to death. It didn't even show my camo. Oh, we got carnage too. Let's go. So the carnage camos are probably the hardest ones to get, but I think I have a good strategy for them. Once we get to a higher round and we get a nice covenant, I think we can knock it out pretty easy. But speaking of covenants, I need to check to see if there's any good ones. Unholy ground, cryo, and dead accurate. I'm pretty sure cryo and brain rot don't work with the knife. Hold on, let me kill these guys and I'll show you why. Oh, there's half tone. It, ha it popped up so late, but it says in the description of this, what is it, covenant? It says in the description of of this covenant that has a chance to slow a normal enemy when shooting it so you obviously can't shoot with a knife so that's out of the picture successful shots on the same enemy deal more damage can't do that so i guess we have to grab unholy ground and we don't really have any money but if we do blitz we should be onto the next wave pretty fast 
I know I should probably like start doing harvests and getting, you know, our money up so we can pack a punch, but we don't really need pack a punch kills. Probably gonna need pack a punch to stay alive later, but I, I'm I'm not too stressed about it. Let's grab speed cola. Oh, another feature that was removed here in Vanguard or just a regression of Vanguard is that look, there is no loose change at these at these perk fountains. But I will say. The design of these perk fountains are amazing. They are so vibrantly colored. It's I just love how this game looks visually. We definitely need some we need we need content in this game right now. All this game has is its visuals, then it's nothing. But you start throwing in old content. I don't even care if it's like reuse stuff. I, I always see people like complain that oh this is re reused like how uh forsaken was uh a campaign map in a multiplayer map like how assets just get like rethrown into things and i don't care as long as there's stuff to do like if it saves them development time and not having to remodel a whole giant new thing and they can just throw like zombies into like campaign maps and stuff i'd be all for that especially right now because it seemed like they gave treyarch no time to make these zombies like this mode was probably made within a month or so like the second they got done with forsaken they're like okay now work on vanguard so i i really do feel bad for treyarch if that is how everything went down but man like just give them some time and this game could be crazy it has the potential to be amazing back to the copy and paste thing if they really would have just copied and pasted cold war system over to this i don't think anyone would have had a problem with it because you know ever since this game has come out cold war is officially now underrated that's the part of the cod cycle that i like is seeing everybody go back on everything that they said like everybody was shitting on cold war all last year saying how i mean the zombies was easy so i won't you know i'll give them that but just overall shitting on cold war when it was probably one of the most well liked and you know nice playing zombies games that we've seen in a while and that's coming from me who hasn't played a lot of zombies in their life like cold war was basically my first zombies game but i can still recognize the the fun the entertainment in cold war zombies anyways what else do we have to do another blitz might as well let's hop on in oh i didn't check my covenants no there's a covenant that we need to get i forget what it's called but it's but it's one where whenever you melee a zombie you get health back and you do more melee damage it's kind of like upgrading your melee in cold war like through the the weapon skills and i just didn't even think to check hopefully it's there next time i'll I was talking about the RNG being a huge factor in this game. And it for sure is if you're using like specific weapons. Like with this knife, if I don't get that, it's going to make these higher rounds uh, like way, way more hard. Don't take that out of context. But right now, at least it's pretty easy. Oh, dang. I didn't even hit it. It just blew up. Oh, nuke. I guess I'll take that. Why not? We're just chilling in here anyways. And I've said this in a few streams, but I really think the best like plan of action that they could have done like if zombies really was like this they could have just said like hey zombies isn't like quite done yet we'll have it at season one do you guys think that would have went over better like if they just dropped if like they didn't put zombies in the game right away and they just took time to work on it tell there's at least like one round based map or they're like more fully fledged out mode like would you guys be more mad if zombies release at season one or maybe even later than that as like a more well polished mode or would you rather just have something like this for now to hold you over until they add more stuff or do you even think they're gonna add more i really hope they do because i'm really liking vanguard's multiplayer i i feel like i'm gonna play it a lot so having a nice zombies mode to pair with that would be great i i hope i'm not just being too like wishful let's grab this let's check our covenants before i forget there's a legendary one in here we can't use any of these ammo gremlin can't use and none of these will work that sucks oh man and our knife's already two hit can we pack a punch? Oh, we have enough. Let's go. That's another thing. We need pack a punch camos ASAP. I hope they look nice too. I don't want them to put in some like D Machine of Firebase C pack a punch camos. I want that real stuff. I want some nice pack a punch camos. Professor, it is time to bid your toy soldiers Auf Can we upgrade our jug? Devon, you just said that. Auf you literally said that not even like, like two seconds ago. Relax, pal. Let's just do. Oh, that's transmit. There's another blitz over here. So we can do that. Let's just try to fly through it and see if we can get the right covenant. Because if we can't get this covenant, we might need to restart. All right. We have to survive here on Shino Numa. I think this might be one of the harder blitzes to survive. Especially on the bottom floor here. Can I go upstairs? Are the stairs blocked off? I think they are. All right. Well, I mean, this could be a good opportunity to get at least one of the, the 10 rapid kills. Or 10 kills rapidly, I should say. Because we need to do that a lot here. So let's just run around so we get enough zombies in. And then we can stay near these spawns and get the zombies as they're walking in. 
spawn. Actually, is there infinite spawns in Blitz? I feel like in the different like modes or objectives, the spawns are very limited, but in Blitz, they're not. Let's see. I don't care about Jackrabbits though. That's five rapidly. Is that 10 rapidly? Let's go. Easy Carnage Metal. We'll at least get out of here with one of them. Jeez, I don't even want to touch those guys. That's why we need that that covenant so bad. Otherwise, we're just going to die to them every time or take like a, a significant amount of damage. There's five. Can we get the 10. There we go. That's two carnage medals. Okay, we're at 25 times. We need to double that now. Oh, double points. Let's go. Love to have a double points at the end of the objective to get double the objective payout, which is always very nice. Right now, I'm at 4,955. What am I going to be at when this ends? Go ahead, end now. Easy. Oh, 12,000 now. We got so much. All right. Check the covenants. I'm gonna do that every time. What we got? Really the same stuff. The same exact stuff, except they're not legendary anymore. All right, I guess we can try to walk around and get a few kills. Oh my God, we're back to this being a two hit. That's not okay. I kind of want to get Jug since we're, we're not lucking out on our covenant. But then if I buy Jug, then I'm even less likely to get pack two. Like, I don't know what to do here. I could restart, but then we lose all progress. I mean, we don't lose our camo progress, but I have to re get set up. It's not like I'm that set up though. I'm conflicted. Okay, I'm already down. So I guess if I go down again, I'm not gonna be too mad. Then it'll be meant to be to restart. Actually, you know what? Do it. Take me out. Do it. Thanks. All right, I'll see you guys once we get right back in game. All right, we're back. Where's Blitz? Let me just do a Blitz real quick. Where is it? Blitz right here. We're hopping right into it. Don't even care. We're actually speed running now. We got the same exact Blitz to start too. I'm literally just running in a circle. Is there 10 of you yet? Can I try this? That's five. Is there five more of you? It's not looking like it. Maybe actually nope back to five okay that's it still obsessed with this fountain looks so cool all right what do you got for me cold the weak death blow that's crits this is deal more damage to slower stun enemies deal more damage when shooting our stationary oh shooting walls so that doesn't even help either let's just get cold the weak because it helps a little bit but we have to do another blitz that sucks i'm just waiting for the right covenant grab quick revive give me that i feel like i keep getting them on the same map like we're we're stuck on red star normally it'll at least send us to like hotel royale or something we're just chilling here on red star double points right at the end again let's go that always cracks me up when Vaughn just pops up to just go, ah! All right, check the covenants. What the hell? I swear I have a curse anytime I record. I have the camo curse in multiplayer where I will never ever finish the challenge that I, I'm going for for that video. And then now in zombies, I can't get the right covenant. This is BS. Can I at least upgrade the one that I have? No. The only drops I'm getting is ammo as well. Look, look at this. One, two, three ammos. Not even using a gun. Drop me like nades or something. Don't even have enough to pack a punch. I'm gonna do a harvest event since it's on Hotel Royale. Maybe I need you to go to a different map to get the better covenants. That's just, that's just wishful thinking. All right, harvest event. I'm gonna make sure that I get up to at least enough to pack a punch, which should be pretty easy. Cause I don't know if I'll be able to get 10 rapid kills on harvest. Cause harvest for sure has a spawn limit. It'll spawn zombies infinitely, but it only spawn a certain amount at a time. That's five rapidly. Let me keep it going. Are any more zombies spawning? Oh, there we go. That's carnage. I guess if this is working, we can just stay up here and grind some out. Just screw going for that covenant. If this works, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay. We're grinding through these now. Forward thrust. Me and your mom. Yeah, maybe I'll run around for a second. Let these zombies spawn in. And then I'll catch them and I'll catch the ones that take their place by spawning. That's five rapidly. Just need five more. Less than that now. There we go. Okay, that's the move. Once I get my 10, I do a quick triple circle around this thing and then go back for more. That's the move. They're not gonna help me with the Covenant RNG. I'll do it myself. It actually might be better to move the Covenant or the Sin Eater or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure the zombie spawns are based off of where the, the Sin Eater is. And we'll get some nicer spawns in that way. But also we need to kill those death machine guys we haven't even seen one yet i'll do a few more i guess I'll, I'll keep doing this till we see one more camo and then we'll do this again at a later time that way we can just keep moving forward what's that max ammo let's go just what we needed i also feel like the the running over items and picking them up isn't very responsive i've run over so much what is it called scrap salvage that just doesn't get picked up unless i go right up to it and i click f okay, the spawns are getting a little slow i'm gonna go move it oh now it's up here that might help it out are they all spawning on the other side now I think I might have screwed myself. Let's go see where they're spawning at. I feel like this spot's even worse. Like, we somehow messed it up. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm liking this. I'm gonna move it. We'll take it to the last spot. All right, are the spawns better over here? We say yes. I think maybe we just moved it and got more boom shriekers. 
That's what it's looking like. It's just spawning boom shriekers infinitely. They're gonna end up killing me. Here's an idea. I'm actually gonna throw a decoy. Decoys are kind of nasty in this. They last for a long time. Let's just get a few while they're all stupid. There we go. Okay, this isn't looking very optimal anymore. I'm just gonna get out. And we definitely have more than enough to get pack-a-punched. And we can buy Jug. Actually, we probably need to go do the event in front of Jug first. All right, open up. Let's head on in here. Oh, there's a Boom Shrieker. Let's grab tier one stamina up. Still don't have any big dudes out here. Just only Boom Shriekers, it seems like. We have our Covenant. We do Bloodlust. That's it. That's the one we're looking for. We can upgrade Call of the, the Week, too. All right, what do we have to do? Only Blitz? I guess that's fine. This opens the door to Jug anyway, so let's do it. Oh, I didn't pack-a-punch. Fuck. Fucking idiot. I always forget something whenever I come back here. It sucks that I can't pack a punch while it's teleporting. Why is that unavailable? Why isn't the teleport start immediately then? And I need to survive in here for two and a half minutes with no pack a punch. I should be fine now that I have the covenant and I have like a frost blast to burn if I need it. But come on. Also, I don't remember buying stamina up a second time. I think I might have just did it. I thought, that was, I thought it was my first time picking it up, but apparently not. I literally just play so mindlessly. I don't even know what I'm doing most of the time. Oh, actually... I played on this before. If I stand right here, hold on. If I stand like right here, I'm pretty sure zombies will only spawn from up top, jumping down this way and coming out that door. So I, I might just be fine to stand here and grab them as they're jumping down while they're in that little stun phase. This is easy. Sometimes they'll come down the stairs and jump down, but I just have to be ready for it. There's a broom. There's a boom shrieker coming though. Those guys are a little more tough to deal with. Here it comes. God damn. There we go. This could be our, our 10. This could be a Carnage Metal. Let's go. There it is. Jeez, they're spawning in fast now. Keep it coming. Oh, no. Two Broom Shriekers back to back is not a good sign. Oh, please. I need a Frost Blast here because I'm low health. That Boom Shrieker can't get close to me. Oh, my God. All right, we did it. We made it through. Jeez. He did it again. He just went, ah. All right, let's check our covenants. Let's see if we can upgrade this at all. Not looking like it, but we can get mother load. That helps us keep equipment after using it. That's like uh, mule kick tier from Cold War. But let's pack a punch before I forget. Let's get it pack one. We could have gotten it pack two if we had enough money, but we have a harvest round now. I need how many more of those uh, machine gun guy kills? I think four machine gun Kelly kills. I just got to let them know that I am weed and then they will have sex with me. I actually probably don't want that to happen. A lot of boom shriekers spawning though. Don't want that. Like actually do not want. Probably buy armor, huh? Go to our handy dandy crafting table. Craft a little level one armor. We'll grab jug and we'll upgrade this a little bit. Let me upgrade you please. One more. I do it again. No, it's 7,500. What do you guys got in this chest over here? What are you guys hiding? Oh, a decoy. It seems like I always get decoys out of the chest, which is nice. Decoys are really, really good in this. Is that an AK? Oh, AS44. Oh, I'm sorry. Those JROTC kids just got really pissed when I said that. All right, Harvest. This is my favorite one for Harvest. I just got to clear out this one, the next one, and then while it's on third, those spawns are super, super fast. I just got to sit there and knife. I think we can knock out our, our fast kills there and then just wait for our dudes to show up. Where are all of my rune stones? Somebody drop them, please. So we can get this first one moved already. There it is. All right, let's move it. Hold it down. There we go. I'm gonna stay back. I've seen people get stuck in walls from these. Oh, I think they actually moved this one back a bit. Oh, that doesn't happen. That's pretty cool. What spawned? A full power? All right, I guess I'll use my frost blast and then grab that. Oh, that's our boy. That's our boy. Machine gun Kelly's here. Here, get frozen. Frozen time. I completely missed actually. Are you still dead? Hold his ice. Let's go. All right, we got this one moved. Now we're in the goaded spot. These spawns are so fast here. Uh oh, jeez. Oh, there's another one. Let's go. Come on in, fella. Gotta hit him and get back. Jeez. Yeah, his melee just did so much to me. If he hits me into a boom shrieker, it's over. I'm throwing a decoy out. Go get it. Oh, I threw out two accidentally. I thought I missed one. Don't touch me. Holy shit, he hit me through a wall. Oh my god, he already knocked me. I can knife you while I'm down, though. Come here. You know what? Throw a nade over there. Get him. No, no hitting. Got him. Let's go. We're all done with though. Actually, no, we need two more. Never mind. I lied. We're not done with anything. We're close though. That definitely helps. Definitely no downsides to killing those guys. Now, if I just stand here at the door and swing go over here, get these guys. I just switched really hard. There we go. 10 rapid kills 30 times. We're 20 away now. So we just got to keep doing this for a little bit. If we can get those wrapped up, it's smooth sailing from here on out. This is actually very easy right now. We just got 15 kills rapidly, which according to my calculations is just a little bit more than 10, which show it should count. I don't know if they stack actually. So I know a lot of challenges in multiplayer don't stack doing it. So maybe I should let it breathe for a second. I'll do that. I'm gonna let it breathe. Maybe I did, hopefully I didn't just mess up my whole spawn thing by doing that. It's looking like we're still going strong. This is very repetitive. 
I still enjoy the grind in this game. Actually, a lot of fun. Like, besides leveling your weapon up for an entire, like, week, like, as a full-time job, the, the camel grinding in this game is pretty satisfying. There we go. 35 times. You already went up five times by now. Erosion camo. So we'll let it breathe for a second, then we're back to it. It's gonna be a whole lot of doing this. And a nuke. Cool. Reset the spawns just like how I wanted. This is so brain dead easy. Just stab forward back. Stab forward back. Forward stab back. Stab forward back. It's the new cha cha slide. Rack up jackrabbits too. I think we don't need any more. But if we did, it wouldn't even be a problem. Now we're racking up just money. Might actually fall asleep doing this. It's very relaxing. It's like counting sheep. Double points. Let's go. We'll be at like 300k before you know it. It's like they're all coming to the door one at a time now, which is very nice. Very nice of them, except for right now. Now they're all barging in. They heard me say it. Let's go. We ranked up and we're at 40 times. So we just need to do it 10 more times. And then we just need to look for those big guys with the machine guns. Ooh, there's a lot of you now. Get back, please. Please. This is such good progress right now. We'll be done with this in no time. And now our spawns are a little off sync. We need to let them run on in here. Max ammo, we're saved. 45 times, five more. Not a nuke, come on. Now my spawns are way off sync. I gotta train them around. Let's do this. Everyone get on the monkey bomb. Go ahead. Oh, I almost killed myself with the monkey bomb, but that's all right. Did we switch the spawns yet? I don't think so. That one nuke might have just slowed us down by about 20 minutes. There we go, I think we got them back. Yeah, we got this. Oh, we need about like two more. Come on. There we go, I think that's it. Yup. 10 rapid kills 50 times. We're done with our rapid kills. We're at 22,000 points now. That took a long time, actually. But that was pretty efficient. Let's just get out of here. Maybe we'll have two of those minigun guys back at spawn. We can get them, and then we're out. Like, we're done. Then we'll have our first plague diamond. It would be pretty nice. All right, first, let's check our covenants. Um, I guess we can get... No, we can't get any of these. Fuck all that. We're gonna get pack a punch two. I'm gonna get jug tier three. I think that'll help out. Might even get tier four. Because why not? Any of our minigun lads? Nope. Not seeing them in any of these spawns yet. Oh wait, here's one. Come on. There we go. We need one more. There's gotta be more than one that have spawned here. If I was a minigun guy, where would I be? Okay, he's not over here. Is there one in the building? I hope not. They're a lot harder to kill in here. I'm not there. Is there any over here? Don't give me anything besides a minigun guy. I'm not seeing it. Maybe if we exfil, another one will spawn, but I'm not sure if we'll be done. So let's just try to transmit. Find the floating orb, huh? I wonder where it is. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go. Just spawn a minigun guy and we'll be good. We'll call it even. Why do I even need to help this orb walk around or fly around? Why can't it just do this on its own? Doesn't seem like any zombies are going after it. Even if I let it go, it just wants to go for a walk. Is this somebody's pet? Am I a zombie head walker? Is that my job? My occupation? Oh, no. Oh, now we got to go back this way. And we're done. Thanks for playing. We went from that gate to right here. Let your friends come. Let my friends come? Come on, court effects. Grow up. Let's see if any of the big machine gun guys spawned. Were you at MGK? I'm not seeing any in here. There's one. First, I'm gonna get these storm chasers out of here. Let's go. Come on. I don't want that the shriek boomer thing to kill him, because if it kills him, I don't get any of the credit for it. He's got a lot of zombie pals. I'm throwing a decoy. And I'm looping around and I'm hitting him in the back and hitting him from the back. He'll get them both. There we go. Is that it? Show me gold. Show me gold viper. Rank up. Challenge completed. Challenge completed. ZMPD melee. Let's go. Oh, we did it. There's hemoglobin. Plague diamond, baby. Let's go. And gold viper. We're out of here. So I need to kill all 40 of these zombies with just my knife, actually. Might be kind of difficult, but I'm a champion, so what are they going to do about it? Where are the most zombies at? Any of you guys in a group or are you all just in groups of three? All right. They're, it seems like they're all starting to hoard me now, so I'm throwing on a decoy. I'm going to put a nade on that decoy. A little self-made monkey bomb. There we go. Throwing another one down. Easy. And I have one more. So let's use it. I think I'm going to get like one kill with it. Oh, two kills. Groundbreaking. Insta-kill. We need 11 kills now. Five, four, three, two, one. We're done. Open that portal. Go ahead. Oh, of course. It doesn't spawn near me. What would be convenient? Oh, geez. Don't go down here. I went down. Did I die? I didn't have a self-revive. I really died in the x -fill. I guess it don't matter. What am I going to get from the x -fill? Five more XP. Who cares? This guy kind of looks sick, though. Look at it. 
Look at his face. He's saying, please like the video. Oh, we got our operator level 20. I just need one more. And I will complete this operator set. Oh, I need to unlock this guy. Anyways, this is what the knife looks like with gold viper on it. Let's take a quick preview. Looks pretty clean. I like this crimson red, this ruby on the knife. Looks so good. And the handle, it's got that nice texture to it. I don't even know what to call that. Like... It's been peeled. <laughs> I, I, it doesn't make it seem appealing, but I like it. Let's see what it looks like with Plague Diamond. Uh, honestly, I don't know how I like Diamond in this game. I like how it looks on weapons because you see a lot more of this rose gold. I don't know. This Diamond texture looks a lot like the Warzone Diamond texture. For whatever reason, the Diamond texture from like Cold War from the Black Ops games just does not look right on this engine. They don't look like diamonds. They just look, it just looks, I don't know, like dots on it. Like it's ribbed for your pleasure. I don't know. And I know there's no inspect in this game and the knife's already kind of hard to see, but I guess we can try to see what it looks like in game. So I'll see you guys there. All right, this is what the knife looks like with gold viper on it. Can't really see it, but I guess you can see the, the back of the handle. That's pretty cool. I really wish there was an inspect in this game. Is, can I get like a different animation or something? No? Oh, all right. Ooh, I wonder what happens if I just hold this and walk around. Hmm. Oh, and this is what the knife looks like with plague diamond on it. Very amazing, as you can see from the very detailed texture and inspect animation that we have here. But honestly, I am probably going to be rocking gold viper when I go and get this done in multiplayer. As I really do not like that diamond texture. I mean, it kind of looks cool here, like on, on the back, but uh, I don't know. I can't get behind it. Anyways, this was kind of a basic video. Uh, I just wanted to do a weapon that I didn't have to grind levels for. And we get an easy plague diamond. So, you know, we knock, we knock two birds with one stone pretty eventful day but with that i'm gonna end the video here if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please start to subscribe and put out all kinds of kai content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later